Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my football manager series this is episode number seven and today we're returning with two make or break games i would say as we face everton at home and manchester united away in the premier league before we get to the games today shout out cherries we're getting on off camera so just the two games in a run off camera on the back of our 2-0 win at home to Brentford then the abysmal 3-0 loss at Selhurst Park. And we began with scalp as well. 3-2 victory at home to Chelsea as we bounce back here. And we were tuned up in the first half. Traore scoring I think his first goal for the club, uh, making it 1-0 early and then Solanke bagging another one right before the break. Jao Felix did get Chelsea back into the game just before half time and then Aubameyang equalised 14 minutes ago and I was thinking how many times are we throwing away points from winning positions but right from kickoff, Dominic Solanke and get headed in the game winner as we won it by three goals to two. Zakaria's late red card ensured we could close out the game pretty comfortably. But our final game was uh, a loss, a 3-2 defeat away against Brighton where like defensively in this game, it was... It was bad. I mean, it was really, really bad. Matoma uh, scored Brian's first goal in two minutes later. I don't know what happened for our second goal. I think Loy Kelly just stopped playing football for a couple of seconds, was robbed. Brighton made it 2-0 and then SDP now scored from the spot right before the break. Solanke did make the score. I respect to win the second half by bagging another brace, uh, one from the spot and another one right before. As he got two goals back, but sadly couldn't complete the epic comeback. 3-2 to final score. So just three wins in our last 11 games in what has been a really, really tough second half of the season. And why I would say now... Any chance of making Europe is all but gone. We've got a game in hand on the teams above us right now, but we're 11 points behind Chelsea in sixth place. I would say, unless we win six of the remaining seven, we're not going to make the Europa League. So, yeah, it's, it's basically all or nothing today. However, in terms of staying up, because we now got 42 points on the back of the win over Chelsea, we're basically safe now. 13 clear of Aston Villa. Far better goal difference and the game in hand as well. Forest have now been relegated. First team to go down as they've got 12 points on the board all season long. I mean, after their abysmal start, the Ryan was on the wall, really. So, yeah, we know we're basically safe now after meeting the magic 40 points total. So, the game, or the first one today. Uh, Everton at home. This will be our team. Uh, Sinesti is still suspended after straight red against Crystal Palace. Lewis Cook is, of course, still down with the ligaments. Won't see him again to the midway point of next season, I would say. Semenyo is carrying a knock. Everyone else, though, is basically totally fine. So, going to 4 through 3 gig and press of the game with NATO and goal. Back for Kelly, Mepham, Zavani and Fredericks. Scott, Lerner and Billing are our midfield trio. With Traore on the left, and I've played him mostly through the middle this season, even though he is normally on the inside forward role. Just because, I, I don't know what it is, but like, I... I just I, I don't know. Like, I, just, I just prefer him through the middle. What can I say? And Tavernier on the right and uh, Solanke up top. And on the bench, it's Randolph Stevens, Vinia Smith, Christy Brooks, Anthony Otara, and Kiefer Moore as well. First two games, it's the Toffees. Only a win keeps us in the hunt for Europe. Come on, you cherries. I'd say the season's over if we don't win this game, really. It should be all about whether we can hold on to a top 10 finish or not, to be honest. By the way, there has been a high profile sacking. First one of the save so far. Mikel Arteta replaced at Arsenal. Now, in the sort of season he's having in real life, given the sack. And uh, Luis Enrique has taken over at the Emirates Stadium. Very interesting indeed. Anyway, first proper chance coming here, it seems. Four minutes for the break as Jefferson Lerma wins it back, not for the first time this season. And Solanke is through and should. Have got another one. Still 0-0. What a miss. At what point do we just accept that the season is basically over and just throw the kids in? You know? <laughs> throw those youth academy grads in. It happens quite often, like towards the end of a season. Teams got nothing to play for. They're not going to go down. They're safe. And they can't make Europe. And it's like, we might as good the kids will run out, you know? I'm definitely considering it. Don't get me wrong. We'll be 10 points behind Chelsea with this result as things stand. But... As Calvert Lewin heads off the bar, and oh, what a save! NATO keeps it a nil nil. There'll, there'll still be an outside shot. What a save, NATO! Last chance, you'd say. Eight minutes to go. With Zabani finding Philip Billing. Great ball through. Solanke! Oh, he's missed again! Dominic Solanke, two golden chances today. Missed them both. Put your money on Solanke burying at least one of those. Missed them both. Billing's header easily caught. Disappointing, man. My number nine's rarely let me down this season, but he he should have converted one of those, and we should be celebrating a win instead. Toffees could win it themselves here. Dwight McNeil tackled, and away we go. Lerma sends it long. Traore saved. 
Well, that'll do it. It's another clean sheet for Bournemouth in a year where NATO has been picking up these golden gloves and costing me a fortune in clean sheet bonuses. But 0-0 basically ends our chance of making Europe now. We're, we're 10 points behind Chelsea. I, I think the season has basically ended there. We can't go down, but I can't see us making the top six now. NATO is just like... I can't, I can't get over the guy. Like, we'd have absolutely no chance of making Europe without this guy. Absolutely no way. We'd be in a relegation battle. 13 clean sheets in 32. He saved a couple of penalties this year as well. He's on course to battle for the Golden Glove, if not win it. I mean, it's gutting to be losing him. I don't know how we replace him next year. It'll be interesting to see who goes down with Nottingham Forest, because obviously it's not going to be us now. We're safe. No doubt about that. But at the moment, the Saints and Aston Villa, very precarious positions. Leeds as well. Brighton, after they beat us, I think they're going to be safe now. But it's, it's interesting because like when a team goes down, what a big win for Southampton that is. And Leeds as well. It's so tight down there. It's really tight. I'd say anywhere from West Ham to Aston Villa, it's... It's not, I'd say Leicester and us going forward are definitely safe, but even West Ham in 13 could still go down. Personally, I'm going to be honest here, I'd quite like it if Everton went down, just because there's so much quality in that team. There's quite a few good players we could snap up there on cheap deals. I'm thinking Dominic Calvert-Lewin, possibly Dwight McNeil, maybe, well, definitely Amadou Onana. Ben Godfrey, I think, has a release clause there as well. I think about £20 million. Yeah, 19.25 mil. I, selfishly, I'm kind of hoping that the Toffees do go down because there's so... Pickford, I mean, maybe. There's so many players there. Amadou Onana, lest we forget, that would do bits in this team. Right then, second and final game today, away Old Trafford. The slimmest of chances of us making Europe depends on us going to Manchester United and winning tonight. What a massive battle that is there in the race to survive between the Saints and Leeds. But I, I would say now the season is looking all but done. We, we ain't going to go down from this point, but unless we can somehow pull off a miracle and win all of our remaining games, I can't see us making Europe either. So, uh, yeah, just a couple of changes to our line of things to the game. Stay on 4 3 3. Back four is once again with NATO in goal. Kelly, Metham, Zabani, and Fredericks. Scott Lerner and Traore now playing through the middle because I just prefer him through the middle. With Christie on the left, Uatara comes in on the right hand side, and Solanke leads our line. On the bench, Randolph, Sanersi, Vigna, Smith, Billing, Brooks, Anthony Tavernier, and Kiefer Moore as well. Second final game, Red Devils away. Failed to pick up a massive scalp here, and the season is basically over. Come on, you Jarrys. Yeah, it's always interesting when like the season's coming to an end and the team knows they're safe, like they can't go down and they can't make Europe. Obviously, you know, you can play for prize money, play for, you know, form, you know, appearance bonuses and so on and so forth. But even so, sometimes it can be hard to motivate a team in, in these sort of scenarios. But as Bruno Fernandes slots it home two minutes in, I, <laughs> I think we're on holiday at this point. Bournemouth are on holiday. All we wanted to do this year was get to 40 points, stay in the Premier League and survive. We did that. We have done that. And we will be staying in the top tier. So mission accomplished as far as I'm concerned. Like, but the form has been poor. Like, it has been really poor. Three wins in 12, I think it is now. And it's now going to become three wins in 13. There's no way it will come from you to win this. And no matter how you look at it, that's not good enough. Sancho shot denied by NATO. We're just... We're just not, we're not on it anymore. The last game where I feel like we were truly at it, if you will, was that Aston Villa win, which we won 5-3. I mean, even the win against Chelsea, like we, you know, we won it, but we were the worst team on the day and we almost surrendered it from 2 it up. That's the last game I can remember us thinking, yes, boys, we can do this. Now, go into games and just think, eh, you know, <laughs> pretty much just accepting a draw is probably the best we'll do. Saints tuning it up on Leeds now, keeping a close eye on that game there. Obviously, I um, I signed James Ward-Prowse in practically every FM save I do because I just love him so much. And I've loved him for many, many years now. But if the Saints were to go down, whilst he would be one of my main targets, if they stay up, I don't think we'll be getting hold of him. Shame, because I bloody love James Ward-Prowse. But also, I was thinking of Gavin Bazunu as well. You know, goalkeeper trying to replace NATO. Anyway, Rashford makes it 2-0. This game is done. Then again, there's a lot of good goalkeepers that are currently in that relegation zone or, or trying to keep themselves up. I mean, Aston Villa, Emmy Martinez, World Cup winner, Leeds, Meslier as well. So 
I mean, that's something to consider. There are other options. Everton, of course, Jordan Pickford. Um, anyway, 2-0 down here. I, I can't believe it. It's like there's five games to go and I'm sat here thinking about the transfer window. <laughs> Just imagine, like, the boys coming into the dressing room. I look at my notepad and it's like, shortlist Jordan Pickford, shortlist Messelier. <laughs> you know, like... No, no tactical changes. Just thinking about the transfer window. I'm not talking to my assistant manager right now. I'm talking to my scouts. Corner, Red Devils, short, back stick, headed down, penalty. Dear, oh dear. It, it's so weird, but like in the games where, you know, NATO gets a clean sheet, I think, oh, we're an amazing defensive team. But if NATO doesn't concede a clean sheet, we always ship like three or four. Like, it's just one or the other with Bournemouth. NATO either concedes three or four in the game, or has a weldy and gets another clean sheet. Uh, that is that. It's all over, and any chance of making Europe has officially ended tonight. 3 0. Manchester United get a very comfortable win, and um, yeah, that's it. That's it. The season is the season's over now. It's, <laughs> it's time to think about transfers. Right, guys, that will do it for today's episode. So, big thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do drop a like. Uh, much love to you all. Have a fantastic day, and we will return in the very next episode. We might as well just play the final game now. I mean, there's, there's five games to go. We, we can't make the European places now, and we are 11 clear of Everton. And these teams are still got to play each other as well. So, we, we I, I don't think mathematically we can go down now because of the fixture list. So, yeah, might as well come out with the final game of the season uh, where we will take on Liverpool at home after a poor run of form. I'd like us to at least bounce back a little bit in this run here and still have a chance of finishing in the top 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. And I'll see you in the season finale of Season 1 in the Football Major Series. Very soon.